All right. We got a mobile metal Monday, triple M. Yes, sir. No blo- yes, sir. No, no bloody Marys for you today, Brett. We see a lot of green in the market. So yeah, no bloody Marys for me. I'm traveling. I'm over in Salt Lake city right now. Um, I'll be back in the office tomorrow. So, but you know, we got to get these metal Mondays in, especially if it's not just bleeding all over us. We, we definitely got to get these ones in to get, for the most part, the markets are uh, the ones that are open or anyways are at least trading a little more positive than they were last week. So the COMEX is trading, LME is trading. You're seeing both those markets go up. I don't know. That, I don't know about the COMEX for sure. You know, like I said, we our our you know, our the what we do daily. The only thing that really we probably pay attention to, at least that I pay the most attention to on a daily, daily basis is you know, generally the copper is aluminum, you know, steel trades, you know, for the most part, once a month. And our PGMs are so volatile lately. So we, I really watch those daily, you know, platinum playing rhodium. Um, but other than that, like, you know, we, the, the, the LME just usually just kind of gives us a benchmark really of where the markets are, right. Or mm-hmm. where they're trending so that we can run our daily, you know, buys and sells and kind of, I gauge it more off like, what what can I sell the material for versus say what does the LME telling me what the price of aluminum should be, right? It gives you some insight on you know where our price will be. It gives us insight where we should buy it. It's always a moving it's number. Trending, which way yeah. it's trending, you know, that all that jazz. Yeah, we see some major movements. We have to adjust on our buy price, but we try to yeah. we try not to unless we have to, if it's down. You know, if it goes up, we try to move it, you know, to be competitive, give a fair number out there. Exactly. Um, 100%. Um, we're so close to March. We've had three. Is it three months in a row where Ferris has been up? Is that Yeah, right? December, December, January, and February. And then December wasn't a big up move. It just wasn't as big of a down move as people thought. I think it was a, there was a sideways to maybe up a little bit. January is up. February is up. So we'll see what, like, March really brings pricing-wise. Um, you know, I've, I've been he- hearing some talks and murmurs of soft sideways. We'll see how much of that's true. Obviously, today's the 20th. There's, what, only eight more days in this month. So yeah. I feel like if you've got Ferris scrap, you're, you know, it's not going to hurt you to get it moved on this, mar- on this market. And if it does move up or, you know, sideways, you know, great. But, you know, the goal for us is always to keep it moved. So, so we're hoping for sideways for March. I mean, we're hoping for up. I mean... Well, I always so hope for up, but I mean, you could hope in one hand and shit in the other and see yeah. what goes up quicker. The goal is to make the shit go away and make it move. Well, we'll, we'll report that here uh, in the next couple of weeks on where that's going. And um, hopefully these non ferris markets continue to kind of recover from last week. Because last week we had a really rough week. You know, things, yeah. especially PGMs. Like you said, PGMs just got, PGMs got, got their ass kicked. Um, and I don't know what's driving that. I mean, Palladium is obviously getting crushed. I got a podcast coming out this week with Matt Watson, and we'll discuss Platinum, Palladium, mm-hmm. and Rhodium. Um, you know, all the indications that you know, I talked to some of the uh, refiner, refinery guys, especially the guys we sell to, and they still feel fairly strong about Rhodium. But, you know, Palladium is definitely, you know, in a pretty abundant supply. Platinum, they feel, is probably the one in the, you know, medium term has got the most legs, you know. But – Generally speaking, I mean, you know, to be sitting on a bunch of PGMs is is a rough is a rough spot to be in right now. You know, is if you're planning on selling, if you plan on holding, I think you got a fighting chance. But you know, the rest of it, I mean, copper is still trading above four bucks again. I mean, like that's it. You know, that market looks good, and uh, you know, aluminum still holding its own. Um, nickel, you know, nickel saw a decent bounce back. If they can get some things squared away with this economy and the spring turns out a little bit better than maybe what people thought, I think they still got a fighting chance on the commodity side, but um, we'll see. I mean, fingers crossed, you know, keep your scrap moved and uh, keep battling. Okay. Well, hey, uh, this Friday, let's do another Q&A. So everyone yep. shoot us some text messages. I'll put it on this post um, and we'll do that this Friday. But thank you, Brett. I love it, man. Yep. See everybody. I'll see you tomorrow and uh, see everybody else next week. Thanks.